Hey guys, yeah I'm a fan of Jet Set Radio. What gave it away? What is not to love about these games? Kick-ass music, spraying graffiti, outrunning the pigs, all the while doing crazy-ass rollerblade stunts. It's no wonder why Jet Set Radio's fanbase is so committed to it. However, it's pretty clear that not everyone shares this sentiment. Sega is perfectly willing to believe that every franchise that isn't Sonic the Hedgehog doesn't exist. As a result, there are many shelved franchises that will never get the new entries that they deserve. Jet Set Radio's only, yet fatal sin, was that it was made by Sega. You really hate to see it. Okay, I obviously know that that's not all there is to it. When Jet Set Radio Future came out, its sales numbers weren't ideal. But the thing about that is that JSR needed time to settle. It needed time for people to really get deep into it. Now that a lot of time has passed, a lot more people are able to find appreciation for these games. So with it gaining arguably more popularity than ever before, you'd think that Sega would be inclined to give it another chance, right? <laughs> what the fuck do you think? The last time we saw anything major for JSR was when it got an HD remaster. In 2012. Ten years ago. Yeah, they make small nods to it from time to time. Like when Beat was announced as a character for Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, big fucking deal. But I'm convinced that this is just to shut the fandom up, if only for a little while. Otherwise, they'll just pretend it doesn't exist, unless there's one other stipulation to it. Merch. They're perfectly willing to act like they don't treat this series like a red-headed stepchild when they're selling merch of it. And I know what you're thinking. But Mike, if they're selling merch of it, what are you complaining about? So here's the thing about that. What is one of the main themes of Jet Set Radio? Creativity. Whether it's tagging the city with graffiti, finding new ways to access secret areas, or just coming up with a game plan for each level in general, this game puts a lot of focus on the creative aspect. So you'd think that the merch would reflect this level of creativity, right? Well, let's take a look at the store page. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that. A whopping seven generic items. Wonderful. What the fuck is this? The only character design referenced in any of the merch is that of Beats, and the rest of the items have generic solid colors with a simple logo slapped on the front. Yeah, you're absolutely killing it in the design department, Sega. <sighs> it just frustrates me, you know? I'm a huge fan of this series, and it sucks how much Sega is just shown to flat out not give a shit about it. The fandom has a genuine love for these games, man. I've come across some of the most genuinely kind people in this fandom, as well as talented ones as well. Some of the fan art and fan projects I've seen for JSR are insanely good. Some of these things include... Rudy Queen. She's a freelance artist who specializes in Jet Set Radio art, but she does art for other franchises as well. Take a look at the art on screen right now. Just by looking at it for so much as a second, you can tell how much effort and care she puts into her work, and it's really admirable. Not all of her art is exactly safe for work, so keep that in mind when you decide to check out her other works. I've helped her out in the past, and I can tell you that she is a really kind person who deserves a lot more publicity than she currently has. So if you like what you see here, links to her merchandise will be in the description of this video. The other thing I wanted to bring up is JSRF MP, or Jet Set Radio Future Multiplayer. This is a fan game created by someone who goes by the name Screen Racer. He recreated many of the maps from Jet Set Radio Future, as well as some from JSR, and put a really cool twist onto the gameplay. You can go online and play with other people. That's right. You can now tear up the streets of Tokyo Toe with your fellow Rudies. Whether that consists of a four-person race down Dogenzaka Hill, taking on hordes of Rokaku police in Shibuya, or just covering the city from head to toe in graffiti, this fan game offers it. If any of that interests you, the link to JSRF MP will be in the description as well. You see now? There's people who are putting their heart and soul into these fan projects, all in appreciation of a series that hasn't seen a new title since 2002. And I genuinely admire it. So it really sucks to see that all that Sega is willing to do to so much as acknowledge the fandom's existence is to just do a forced nod to it. And it's gotten to the point where a different company, Team Reptile, 
the ones behind Lethal League, were all like, I'm gonna go build my own Jet Set Radio with Blackjack and hookers. And got Hideki motherfucking Naganuma to make a few tracks for it. Yes, I'm still waiting for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, and finally got to see some gameplay in one of the trailers. Needless to say, I don't mind waiting a little longer for it. It looks like some fun shit. But it sets the following precedent. If Sega isn't willing to keep the spirit of Jet Set Radio alive, you can bet your supple ass that the fans sure as shit will. Jet Set Radio forever, motherfuckers. I'm Mike Osiris, and I'm going back under.